In this video, we're going to be breaking down Fancy versus Astro. This is the ultimate kickoff challenge. And this is the game that kind of showed a massive shift in offensive and defensive Madden probably for years to come. This is a monumental game. And the reason why is because coming into this game, we have Astro who is considered to be, by most, one of the top five offensive players in the world every single year. At least top five pretty much every single year since Madden 22. He's very effective on the offensive side of the ball, has a lot of good route combos, always finds something, and is a very, very good offensive player. On the defensive side of the ball, we have Fancy. Fancy coming into this game is not... By any means, a defensive player. Most people would consider him an offensive player. Uh, he is considered to be one of the best passers, makes really good reads. But I wouldn't think anyone really considers Fancy a top-level defensive player, okay? Um, but coming into this game, Fancy is going to be running. Up until this point, we had pretty much seen mid-blitz being the main meta, okay, with the disengage of the A-gap. Now, Fancy is going to be running dollar, and he's going to be running a double safety walk down defense, okay? So he's going to come out in the dollar 3-2 double safety go. He's going to an audible into whatever play that he wants. Now, there are two to three primary blitz concepts at a dollar. The first one is a free safety zone blitz, A-gap blitz. This blitz is predominantly effective over here. This blitz, for whatever reason, does not work over here, okay? So, while Fancy might run it to get good sheds, it's not really the best way to do it. The best blitz would be an edge blitz where you're trying to loop this way as well, which is an evolution of this. Another blitz that you'll see Fancy run is a send four of DB Fire 2, or he'll send four like this. You're going to see a lot of send four. Now, why would you want to why would you want to send four in this game? The reason you are going to see a lot of send four is due to the fact that you're going to get better sheds if you send four because you cannot blitz your user because what Fancy is going to display for us is how effective switch sticking is in terms of defensive Madden. Now, the reason he is bringing these safeties into the box is because at this point, one of the best routes in the game is just a simple seam streak, right? You can inside pass sleep this and click on by having these guys down here. They're going to make that much harder to defend, okay? Astro, his main combo that you'll see is this one, which is one of the best route combos in the game. All right, and Astro is an Atlanta bunch, Okay. So here off rip, you see free safety zone blitz. Now, uh, Fancy has double or nothing right here, which is important, and we'll talk a little bit about that as a go. I did want to just quickly show the coverage. So the coverage is we're going to have a hard flat here. We're going to have an outside half or an outside third, either way, a middle third. Then we're going to have a deep half, a soft squat, and a vertical hook. And then the user's job is really to take anything across the middle of the field. Okay? So we'll see here first play. Watch the user. He's going to play here. Now, look what Fancy does. He switch sticks. Why does he? Why is he able to switch stick here? Well, because there's no immediate seam streak threat. This quarter or deep half is going to play it well. So he lets this three wreck. He switches off. Let's this guy take this guy. And now he's going to switch on to and take this read, which is the read that most people are going to throw. They're going to throw that route out right there. So you see here, Astro actually makes a really good read and takes his check down drag. And you're going to see this. This is, to me, although, it, although the game is probably going to get a little bit out of hand later on, this is the game to learn from because this shows something about Madden 25 that I think a lot of people really don't realize how big of a deal this is. Look at the route combos that Astro is using and watch the defense. So here, right hash, he sends the A-gap. Now, he's containing, 
why contain just to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Um, it doesn't necessarily make the blitz worse or better. I want you to look at the coverages that Fancy is using. Again, I, I'm almost positive this is an inside quarter. It's not a half because it probably plays the seam streaks better. This is a soft squat. This is a soft squat. I've talked about this before on this channel. The soft squat is a really important zone. This is a vertical hook. And then we're getting something over here. I'm, I want to say this is just a, a cover, cover three, basically. Um, so, anyways, hard flat, outside quarter or outside third, inside quarter or inside third. I want to say this is an inside third, but it could be an inside quarter. Yellow, soft squat, and then that quarter. Okay? Now, with the route combo, take a look here. Watch, watch Fancy's user. This is where his user's at. And he's showing he's taking this away. The strategy is he's going to stay on this for long enough, and then he's going to switch stick right here and jump this post. See there? Switch stick, jump the post. Now that holds Astro holds to hold the ball. Pressure is now coming in. This is how you play defense in Madden 25. This is literally – this is probably the best defensive performance I have seen in a long time. And it's not by one of the best defensive players in the world at this at coming into this game. Now, at this point, he's considered to be probably the best defensive player in the world right now just because of how good a performance this was. So, again, we're sitting four. Notice that Fancy's not getting instant pressure. That's another big, big thing. He's not getting instant pressure. But it's the same coverage. It's the same exact coverage. Look at this. It's the same exact coverage. It's exactly the same coverage. And guess what the best offense – this is the best offense in the world. This is Falcons. Um, most people consider Falcons at this point to be the best offense in the game. He switched sticks right here on the post. Look at these yellows. Now here, he actually switched sticks here and then switches back because he knows Astro is going to look this off and then try to throw here. So he switched sticks, then switched sticks back, which is crazy, then switched sticks here and almost gets an interception. Unbelievable defense, boys. This is this is a master class on switch stick. This is insane. It, it, I watching this game, I, I was like, oh my gosh, he found it. He found defense. I mean, literally, Astro is considered to be the best defensive player in the, or often one of the best offensive players in the world. Here we go again. Look at this route combo. Why throw this out route? Situationally, this is a third. This is a hard flat. We're basically banking that that hard flat can't guard that out route. That's the main reason. So let's see. I don't know why my thing's going weird. But look at that. Now, this is a situational, just a great adjustment. So what Fancy does, it's actually the same coverage. It's just it feels flipped because of the hash, right? So what Ash, Astro oddly, I, th I honestly think Fancy was kind of setting this. I don't know what he was doing here. But this is a soft squat and the half. I don't know what that is. I think that's a hard flat, but look at this coverage. The soft squat sets right. I must have just anticipated or a good adjustment, right place, right time, but he picks it off. And there you go. Gets gets a stop against the best offensive player. At this point, probably coming in the tournament, probably widely considered to be, again, top five at very minimum. Top five at very minimum. All right. Also coming into this game, Fancy is known as the guy that gets to the, you know, get does well but doesn't doesn't win the belt, right? Does well but doesn't win the belt type thing. And um and and I think the reason why traditionally has been his his either you know just folds and makes bad reads in these situations or uh defense isn't up to par. Drag, good read. Astro is also running a different defense, something we haven't seen at this point in the year. Um, he's running – I think he's running 3-4 odd. Yeah, 3-4 odd. So his idea is to try to get a send six, basic, basically a send six. Oh, my gosh. Both these guys are just bagging each other. That's crazy. This is also the game where we start to see a little bit of a crack in bunch for the first time in competitive Madden in the last five years. So let's see here. Actually, so this is a combo, good combo here. There's that corner route. So that's going to require a switch stick. But look, look at the pressure of 3 4 odd. Boom. Fourth and 16, pretty much take your three here. 
because you you and obviously I think Fancy realizes, you know, situationally he's he's playing he's playing amazing defense, and I think he knew that coming in the tournament. Obviously, you come in kind of knowing what you're getting bad at. Fancy later on in the interview, you know, basically said he has the best defense in the world, and I think you're going to see he's right. So here, middle hash. So we just send more this way. Again, soft squat, vert hook. This looks like a man up, hard flat, boom, quarter. Now this is this was a middle third. He switch sticked to the middle third, and he's robbing this route. So you're switch sticking to the route that you're trying to take away. Astro, I don't know what he's throwing. That was a pick. If he actually throws it, and again, Astro is in uh, is in Falcons. Let's see here. Uh, and, and Astro's also trying, obviously, to beat this this switch stick. So, DB Fire 2, blitz, blitz, blitz. Um, and then you're going to get this. Look at this. Look at this. What, what, is he cons what is Fancy consistently doing? This is either a soft squat or a cloud. I'm pretty sure it's a soft squat. Now, this time we send five. So, we have a shaded down vert hook, a soft squat, a quarter. Over here, it looks like almost we're just leaving a soft squat. Might be a third, but I don't think it is. And then he's already switched it onto the quarter. Leaves that open. Good read by Astro. There's just so much to learn from this game, boys. Right hash. What's Fancy going to do? He's going to send free safety zone blitz more than likely. So Astro's setting up his protection. It looks like Astro's protection is just to ID the corner on the right. And that's kind of picking it up pretty good. There's a good switch stick. He, oh, my gosh. Oh, man. That was – that was oof. if if Astro gets an accurate pass and Fancy doesn't, like, let go of that switch stick, that's a pick. I mean, you're just seeing just a completely different style of defense. And Fancy's pretty much doing – there's not a whole – there are not a lot of different adjustments. Right there, that almost looked like a match coverage. I don't know, maybe Astro was just trying to fit that in over that, thinking Fancy would bite down. Look at that ID, that right corner. That's what he's doing every time. I'm going to have to lurk that because that's pretty good pass pro for Dollar. There it is. Throws it again right at his user. But why did it? Why is that not an interception? It's not an interception because of the high point. High point passing, um, does a. it's hard to throw picks with, with high point passing. The defenders just don't animate. I think one mistake Fancy's making is moving that right side guy too much. There's that ID. Yeah, just not able to get that's that's pretty good. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Watch this. Ho 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 ho! Okay, so he's breaking a post over the middle. So Fancy sees this. This is an unbelievable switch stick because this is an open read. He's throwing right here. Watch what Fancy does. He's going to switch stick to this guy and then just bite on this. This is insane. Look, there's a switch stick. This is open. This is open, of course, but he's switch stick to this every single time. So because he switch stick to this every, t every single time, he sees this and he just, may he just adjusts on the fly. This is on the fly. I don't even think it's planned, but he switches and bam, bites down on this. This, this is honestly an interception. And Fancy just didn't get didn't get the pick. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh, what a play! It's in his hands too. That's insane. And I think that was a was that a fourth down? Oh, that was a fourth down. Okay. Yeah, fourth and six. Just an unbelievable play by Fancy. That was insane, and that just shows you like the power of switch stick. It's if you have a good switch stick, man, it's insane. There was a D line pick. It's interesting to watch uh, Astro's defense too. Something we haven't seen a lot of. This three four odd audible to trips. Try to spread it out a little bit. Got the wheel route left side. Yeah, I throw that little instant snap read. Good read against the blitz. Good, good, good play by Fancy. But honestly, if you're Fancy here, I feel like if you get a touchdown, you feel like you won the game. I mean, your defense is unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
that that I mean it's just super impressive. I mean it's just super impressive if you watch him play. That's one of the best ways to ways to beat the blitz in the game. Ends up blocking the guy. It didn't work. He should have just put that running back on that wheel route. Trying to block three four odd is is honestly not not the way to do it. I think you five out three four odd. Obviously, you have to every now and then try to block it. Here we'll block tight end. Good read. <laughs> yeah, buddy, he got his seven points. He got his seven points. And now we see. Now we see. Now we see what we can do. Honestly, Astros defense isn't playing terrible though. That was a cloud. It needs to not be a cloud. I don't know. Maybe a quarter. You gotta have a quarter there. Okay. So here we're sending again consistently. You're seeing he's sending four. He's not necessarily getting pressure. Okay. Um, but this is a hard flat. This is. I mean, this is the base. Sh I mean, this is. This has been the shell, probably eighty percent of the game. Hard flat. Third, it could be a half. I don't know for sure. Middle third, deep half, soft squat. It could also be quarter, quarter, half. But I think – I don't know why you would do that instead of just have a middle third. I know this This is probably a quarter, actually. I keep forgetting. Against Bunch, a lot of times you're seeing – the new thing you're seeing is quarters. Yeah. You get this quarter because this just takes away the seam streak, and then you can switch stick here to take this away. Look at that. Bam. <laughs> dude, this dude is unreal. This is unreal. This is one of the best offensive players in the world. Gosh, that's a crazy play. That is a crazy play. I mean, fancy literally solved defense. <laughs> it's it's not anything crazy other than I mean the switch sticks are crazy, but it's not there's not like crazy adjustments. It's pretty standard. It's just a roll coverage. Um it's just a roll coverage over the bunch, which people have been doing for years leveraging the power of the soft squat match and the switch sticking to be able to handle anything like a verticals wheel or something like that. If I was Astro, I don't know if verticals would be better. Oh my gosh, that's just unbelievable. That's just a great play. And I mean, you had not been seeing this kind of switch stick. You've been seeing switch stick, but you had not seen this at this point in the year. Running back table route. If that linebacker blitzes, we're throwing the table route every single time. Motions him out. Honestly, you just leave him on that flat. There's that. Oh, that was actually a really good play by Astro. Curl route was. I feel like Fancy has to anticipate that a little bit better. This has added a completely another layer to strategy of the game. Where it's now, it's now I know that you know that this is open, so I'm going to look to this, or I'm going to anticipate that you bite down on this and throw this. That's the kind of stuff that this is now going to be. Um, but this is, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is, this is a really, really good um, example of honestly why I'm not a huge fan of Switch Stick, but it is cool. Like, it's fun to watch. It's honestly kind of fun to study, but I don't know that it's fun to play against. <laughs> I mean, this is hard to beat. A little motion wheel. Look at this. What's this? Middle third. What's this? Quarter or half. Soft squat, vert hook. Boom, 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 boom. That's probably a middle third or a quarter, or a outside third or quarter. It looks like it's an outside third, honestly. What's he throwing? What's ooh, <laughs> oh man! And then, I mean, you see though, one of the things that that shows is how horrendous zone actually is. But with switch stick, Fancy has held the best off. Like again, I keep saying the best at this time, at least one of the best offensive players in the world to zero points through one quarter, and Astro got the ball first. Uh, I mean, just insane. There it is again. My gosh, this is insane. It's just really good defense. It's just, it's just, it, he literally found defense. People were saying this is the most offensive Madden ever, ever, because of how bad zones actually play. 
But my gosh, you put Switch Stick in here. Look at this. Look at this coverage. It's just blanketing things. And the reason why Switch Stick is bad for the game, in my opinion, um, is because offensive player like offenses can't change their route mid play, but now defenses can change their coverage mid play, and every single player on the field can change it. Right? You can playmaker like one receiver, but that doesn't. The playmaker is not that responsive. I mean, this literally. <laughs> this is to me, and this is the defense that I personally struggle the most to beat. A good, a good player running this defense with the switch stick is so hard. The blitzes is not. I mean, you're noticing. Like, have you seen a blitz come in yet? I don't think I've seen a blitz come in yet. We're almost halfway through the game. I haven't seen a blitz come in yet, but man, I've seen switch sticks. And I mean, it's literally basically the same. I mean, very. It's there's not a lot of coverage changes here. Every now and then you kind of look at that man up. That's a great man up too. One of the other things that I think Henry was talking about this. Might have been somebody else. But uh, manning up your user and then switch sticking off of them, they play better man coverage. It's like you want to man up like a crosser. He'll like cross. It's like the best cross man you'll ever see. He threw that. <laughs> he actually just threw that. Look at that. That's that man up. I think that was a man up. Yeah, very good. Very I mean, this is insane defense. Third and 10. I mean, this is I mean, this is one of the best defensive performances I've ever seen. By somebody that I wouldn't have considered before this year amazing on defense, you know. You're used to thinking of people like Henry, Dez, Noah, Drini, right? Fancy, <laughs> fancy is it's an unbelievable defensive performance. Holds him to three here. I mean, this is just. Uh, it, it, <laughs> I just, I'm just blown away by watching this this game. I was blown away when I watched it the first couple times, and like taking a little deeper look into this on the film room here. I'm even more <laughs> blown away. I mean, this is. Uh, I, it's just very impressive what he's doing defensively. Um, Got to give him some credit for it, too. I personally don't like switch stick, but I am acknowledging here that he's figured it. He's optimized his switch stick. Right? We talk about optimization. Defensively, I think, I think Fancy has found the best way to play defense in this game, and that is switch sticking strategically and – doing it from a defense that that um, doing it from a defense like dollar that symmetrical right the blitzes blitzes at a dollar are not insane they're not overpower blitzes like like this three four odd blitz this is this is one of the best blitzes in the game but if you can't cover anything you know you can't cover anything there's another dot and Astro has been running three four odd all year he's been run, he was running three four odd in, in college football and he's running three for odd here. So I mean he he believes in three for odd. He's obviously had enough success to get here in three for odd. But I mean this is <laughs> I mean just unbelievable combos. Look at this. There's just nothing to open. There's just nothing to open. And we just haven't seen this. We haven't seen defense like this. We haven't seen defense like this for five years. We have not seen this. This is where like if you get a field goal, you're like thankful. This is like band twenty type defense. I mean, the pressure's not obviously there, but my gosh. And, and Astro does start to start to kind of figure this out a little bit as we kind of go through this. So that's also important to kind of showcase, like, what a potential solution could be. What he starts doing a lot of is this backside drag. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he threw right at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just see the you just see the gears, the gears turning in his head. I mean, this is a soft squat every time. You got to audible to bunch strong, put this guy on a flat, at least put some stress over here. I don't know why he's staying in bunch so much. I mean, I guess I don't know if Atlanta has a bunch strong now. That I think about it. Let me pull up their playbook. Oh, 
Oh, they don't have. Yeah, they don't have Bunch Strong. I mean, shoot, that's that's a big negative for Atlanta. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that's bag. <laughs> I mean, look at this defense. He's obviously trying to score. <laughs> you know, double corner. Why? Why go to a double corner here? Why? Well, he's anticipating him switch taking on this corner, and then he's going to try to throw this one. So what's fancy do? He switch takes on the safety and takes that away. And then that was probably a cloud flat. It probably wasn't a soft squat there. He might have been honestly clouded the entire time. I just I think he was soft squatting. But the way that that the way that it's not matching out there kind of leads me to believe it's uh, a cloud. So right here, if you're fancy, you're up twenty one. Um, and you get balled half. You're honestly chilling. You're honestly chilling. You're not. There's nothing. You know. I mean, you're just running the ball. You might throw some. You know. Look at that. That was a bad read. <laughs> I see Asher is there on some stuff. He just can't get the. He can't get the the final final uh, pick there. I think Vancey's in. Yeah, he's in Colts. Good read. Gosh, Asher plays aggressive. Astro is playing so aggressive defensively. Let's see what he does here. Wheel route. Good read. Yeah, this is just the I mean, this is just a change, a change in defense, man. There's just there's more You just, I mean, there's. I want to say that's high point. I want to say those are high points too. But that's pretty much going to get us to halftime, and then we'll talk a little bit about the second half. I want to see if Astro does anything, if he even tries to score. Runs the ball. <laughs> you get the ball. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the half, boys. All right. So Fancy has balls starting the second half, and he at this point, you know, thirty-one to three. There's still a lot to talk about. I mean, I'm telling you, like, there's still a lot that's happening here. Um, the biggest thing is fans, he just, you know, he kind of plays like – you just want to throw a pick. You don't want to, like, let Astro back in the game. But you don't want to, like, stop playing offense either. It's kind of – it's not a situation like that. So, you know, I mean, he's really just, you know, kind of – he'll, he'll work the – you'll see he'll start working on the clock a little bit, but he's not going to – He's not going to com change his complete offense. There's a lot of time still left in the game. There's 10 minutes left in the game. So you see this is one of Fancy's combos. I don't know what's going on at the – they're going to take a delay. I don't know. Oh, no, he was just working the clock. There you go. Throw right at a guy. Can't catch the ball. Let's see. I do think a lot of it's going to come – I do think you're going to have to go a little deeper in your playbook too because if they can just sit on certain things, I feel like it's super hard to beat. Used to be you could just get away with calling like 10, 15 plays. Now I feel like you're going to have to have a little more. Like, look at that. <laughs> Seam streaks. Yeah, Astro's just going through it. He's going through it on both sides. Honestly, I wouldn't say Fancy's offense is amazing. Um, I would say that, <laughs> you know, obviously his defense is, is what's special. Offense is kind of whatever, you know. There's some plays that Astro could have made that could have got stops. Look at that switch stick right on there. And that's – you're seeing, like, he's doing that every time, right? He's doing that every time. And the reason why is because we have a quarter here. So, if you think about it, even if this tight end's on the streak, there's nothing that can hurt him. So, when he sees that tight end come over, he's always switching right there. And then this time Astro just force feeds it and actually gets it. So, that's why I know that's a half – that's why we know that's a deep half because of that throw right there. If that was a quarter, that was a pick. If that was a quarter, that was a pick. Astro anticipated fancy switch sticking back to the tight end, and he ends up going to that. All right, fancy. Chew clock is on. 28-point lead. Just looking to kind of make sure that we're just staying on top of things, working the clock a little bit. I don't love the route combos he's putting out there, honestly, though, because Astro's sending everybody. 
I mean, he's sent six. I think he's sent six every almost every play this game. To run that combo right there, um, to me, just didn't make a lot of sense. Let's go bunch wide. I didn't like that's yeah and that's kind of an endless so notice that fancy's high point passing that's part of the reason they're not able to get picked the high point it doesn't always protect for pick but i mean it does a lot and astro's starting up you're seeing i mean he's starting to play some d but it's it's one of those things where he you know he's down by so many points so many possessions it's really hard to get back into this game but he is playing good defense there's that seam streak. Oh, my gosh, that's a killer. That's an absolute killer. I think it was fourth down, too. It will just hit a seam streak. It's crazy. I'll run the ball here. Now you're seeing more clock. Now you're starting to really see this clock come into play. You should be snapping with one second. Just trying to mathematically clock him out. Because the thing is, Fancy's defense – Although it did give up a big play on the last drive, it's it's designed, and one of the main things it's designed not to do, it's designed not to give up big plays. That's one of the main purposes of running dollar is, is, is really designed not to give up big plays because the safety's in the box. You can switch stick all over the place. It's hard to give up big plays. Like 3-4 odd is going to give up some big plays just because of the nature of the defense because you have seven people packed into a box – and you're sending six, seven people every play, that you know obviously can give up some big plays. With Dollar, you're pretty much always sending four. So you're sending four, you're keeping a lid on, you're switch sticking onto things, and basically you're making the, the offense work and forcing them to have to have long drives. I actually like that combo right there. That's a pretty good combo. Ag and Astro finally gets the ball. That was a fourth down too. Okay, so, again, let's just take a look at the defense one, one more time here, kind of seeing this through. I just really love looking at this defense. I think this defense is unbelievable. I mean, look how – see, that was – there was the quarter. There was the quarter right there, and that quarter takes away that seam. So, again, I mean, if the only th – if the worst – if the biggest thing we give up is a little drag in the middle of the field, that's not that big of a deal. What this defense does a really good job of is it guards seam streaks well. It keeps the lid on, makes you have to work up and down the field. You can change the picture a lot. There's a lot of options you have from a coverage perspective that you don't have in others. You can do a lot of cross manning. You can do a lot of, like, you can literally run an entire, I call it a coverage tree, kind of like a route tree. You can run an entire coverage, coverage, uh, coverage tree. Let me see here. That's good, D. And I will say the biggest, the most consistent thing that we've seen Astro or uh, Fancy do is basically switch stick right here and use him as almost like a robber or a poach safety. Watch, he'll switch right there every time. That's like his main thing is he's switching to the solo side safety and he's robbing the middle of the field. That's been the main thing we've seen. I'm surprised we have not seen more of a traditional flood combo from Astro. Um, this just hasn't worked well. <laughs> it just hasn't worked well. That time the blitz did come in, the A-gap blitz. And this thing, when it comes in, is pretty good. It's a really good blitz when it comes in. doesn't always come in. If Fancy is moving his user too much for it to come in, you don't want to move your user. There's a switch stick there. Astro throws there and gets a delay pick. I mean, this is just – it's just impressive. It's just super impressive what he's doing defensively. Now you're going to see full clock. Astro goes into three deep. He just wants this game over with. That's pretty much going to be it, boys. But that is how fancy absolutely changed the game. I mean, this is a complete – as we're looking at users' uh, shoes, why wouldn't we be um, – this game completely changed the meta defensively 
and it showed why why switch stick is such a big feature, why switch stick is so important to learn, and why really the next stage is for offense to try to figure out how to deal with switch stick because switch stick is a clear problem, and the winner of this tournament showed the strength of switch stick. Fancy will also will ultimately go on to, I think, win this tournament. We'll have a breakdown on that as well. We actually have a fully up-to-date version of this dollar defense in our school community. If you're not a member of our school community, make sure that you join that. The link is going to be down in the description below.